friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW Grocery Haul. This week is a huge haul. I had to stock up after being gone most of the last two weeks. I had quite a lot of groceries to pick up. So I went ahead and stopped at both Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer or Kroger and picked up my groceries for the week. So if you want to see what I bought as well as what my plan is for all of the groceries that I picked up, stay tuned. So let's get started on this week's grocery haul. I'm gonna start with all of the food items that I purchased. I will be listing all of the smart points here on the screen. My total spent was just over $240. And then I will go into the non-food items that I picked up as well. So let's get started. First, I picked up these squeezable apple sauces. The unsweetened ones are for me and the cinnamon are for my husband. These are great because you don't need a spoon. So they're really easy to throw in your lunch or to travel. So I thought that this would be a quick, easy way to get in some fruit. I also picked up a four pack of cut green beans. We all know if you follow my channel, these are for my dogs. So I just rinse them and then they get those at dinner instead of table scraps. I picked up a container of fat-free chicken broth. This is for a dinner recipe coming up for this week. I also grabbed some No Stir Creamy Peanut Butter from Simple Truth. This is for my husband. He likes to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh, for lunches. I also grabbed four cans of Chunk Light Tuna. This is for his sandwiches for the week. This is what he wanted uh, as his sandwich. So four cans of tuna. I also grabbed a big container of mustard. We were out, so I wanted to refill that. I also picked up the Pam Olive Oil Cooking Spray. This stuff is fabulous. It is just like using olive oil, but it is zero points. So I love it. I like it better than the Aerosol Nonstick Cooking Spray. I also picked up a can of Simple Truth Organic Black Beans. I do not have a recipe planned for these, but I had a coupon, so I wanted to go ahead and grab them to stock up in the pantry. Same with the Simple Truth Tomato Sauce. No recipe plan, but just wanted to stock up. I also picked up the Bomba Peanut Snacks from Trader Joe's. I have purchased these before. I love these. These are absolutely delicious. This whole bag is only 99 cents, and you can have, I believe, 19 of the little peanut snacks for only two smart points. Absolutely delicious. If you love peanut butter, you will love the Bombas. I also picked up a can of mild green chilies. This is for some white chicken chili tacos that are on the menu for the week. A can of 98% fat-free cream of chicken. This is so that I can make Felicia Fitness Health chicken gravy in the crock pot. Super excited for that one night for dinner. I picked up some cornstarch. This is for a Valentine collab that will be posted on this Monday the 4th. I am making a WW friendly red velvet cake with frosting. So I needed cornstarch for that. And then I also wanted to get some sort of cute little decoration for the cake. So I grabbed these cupcake gems. I grabbed a pack of the RX Nut Butter. This is the Vanilla Almond Butter. This was free on Fred Meyer's free Friday download. Super high in points. Don't know when or if I will eat it, but I grabbed it because it was the free Friday download. At Trader Joe's, I picked up some red chili pepper flakes. I did not have any on hand, and Trader Joe's truly has the best prices on spices. I also picked up a box of the cheesecake jello sugar-free pudding and the vanilla jello sugar-free pudding just to have on hand. I am going to be making some recipes, including the frosting for my red velvet cake with this. I picked up two packs of buttermilk ranch seasoning. I'm going to show you how to make a extremely low point homemade ranch salad dressing that is super easy and absolutely delicious. I also picked up two packs of McCormick chicken gravy. This is for the at Felicia Fitness Health chicken and gravy in the crock pot. Again, excited to try that recipe. I picked up another pack of Olay Wellness high fiber tortillas. I have been on this quesadilla kick and I may have one um, on my what I eat in a day, but I use these Olay wraps for those and this was a really good price. So I went ahead and grabbed another pack of those. And then I picked up some Trader Joe's flour tortillas for my husband so that he can make quesadillas and tacos as well throughout the week. I grabbed some smoked ham. This is primarily for my dog. He's taking some antibiotics. And the only thing that he will eat the antibiotic in without spitting it out is meat. So I grabbed some smoked ham for that. And then, of course, we can have that for lunches and things as well. 
I also picked up two packs of the Trader Joe's 96.4 Extra Lean Ground Beef, my all-time favorite, best price in town, uh, $5.49 per pound at Trader Joe's, and really, really good quality lean ground beef. I picked up an 18 pack of the Simple Truth cage-free eggs. I'm gonna be using these, of course, for my breakfast. I am making a breakfast casserole in meal prep for the week, as well as I'll need some eggs for baking and things like that throughout the week. I picked up a bag of frozen organic super sweet cut corn from Trader Joe's. This corn is delicious, so I wanna have that on hand as well. I picked up a pound of the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. If you follow my channel, you know this is my favorite. You can have two slices for only one smart point and it's absolutely delicious. This is a new thing I saw at Trader Joe's. This is from their organic section. This is a green vegetable foursome. So it has broccoli, peas, French green beans, and zucchini quarters. And I thought, what a great way to get in your green vegetables for a quick side for a dinner. So I'm excited to give this a try. I also picked up another bag of the Trader Joe's frozen mashed potatoes. As you know, I love these. Easiest way to make delicious, real mashed potatoes. Picked up a big box of Cheez-Its. These were on sale for $1.99, and I like to have these on hand just for a quick snack. Picked up a box of Boil in the Bag white rice. I am going to make a General Tso's chicken for dinner one night this week, and so I needed some white rice for that. I also picked up another box of the Honey Made Fresh Stack Graham Crackers. I'm going to make some more of the Cool Whip ice cream sandwiches. I probably will show you these in my meal prep. I have shown them before, but they're absolutely delicious and super easy. So I'm going to be making some more of those. I also picked up some of the Trader Joe's cage-free hard-cooked eggs. I actually had two of these for breakfast. These are by far the best hard-boiled eggs. They're already peeled and ready to go. And I'm telling you, they are absolutely delicious. Fred Meyer was having quite the sale on the Hillshire Farm product. So I went ahead and grabbed a link of this roasted chicken smoked sausage. You can see here it says 50% less fat. I thought this would be really good to add to a meal. I don't have a plan yet, but it is on my radar for an upcoming meal. I also grabbed the Trader Joe's spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. This dip is so delicious. And my plan is to have this with either vegetables or some crackers for a snack for this week. I also grabbed another pack of the Trader Joe's Mediterranean style salad kit. I love this salad, absolutely love it. I'm probably gonna have it for lunch today and the point value is super low and it is so good. It even includes little flatbread strips, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, chickpeas, and your dressing. And the points value includes the dressing, so super good. Also, I grabbed some mushrooms. This is for salads throughout the week. Of course, I picked up two more packs of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese, a staple in my house. We go through so much of this cheese. Whenever I go, I always make a point to grab just a couple of extra packages. I picked up a container of light Cool Whip. This is for my Valentine collab red velvet cake recipe. Wait till you guys get a hold of that recipe. And this is also to make those ice cream sandwiches with the graham crackers. One third less fat cream cheese. This is for a recipe as well as for my Valentine baking collab. I went ahead and picked up another container of I Can't Believe It's Not Butter Spray. Another staple in my house. I just have to always have that on hand. I grabbed some reduced fat buttermilk. This is to make that homemade ranch salad dressing. Seriously, you guys, it is so low points and so good and much better for you than store-bought dressing because it's only made with three ingredients. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Picked up a four pack of the Light and Fit Greek Strawberry. These were on sale for $1.89 for four at Fred Meyer. And of course, you know, I use these a lot with the Smart Cakes to make parfaits. And then Fat Free Ready Whip, which is also part of the parfait. Um, and again, another staple in my house. And then I found these at Trader Joe's. These are the Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Mini Heart Cookies. Excited to give these a try. You can have quite a few of them for the Smart Points. Um, or lower that number and lower the points, but I thought that it would be a nice change for a sweet treat. And then I picked up the Ocean Spray Pink Light Cranberry Juice, five calories, zero smart points, brand new, thought that I would give it a try. I really do like the Diet Cranberry, so I'm excited to try this Pink Light. I grabbed a big pack of chips for my husband for his lunches. And of course we can have these as well. We just have to be cognizant of the points value for those. 
I picked up a box of sugar-free yellow cake mix. This is for my upcoming Valentine red velvet cake recipe. Cannot wait for that. I grabbed some celery hearts. We wanna have these uh, as snacks throughout the week to dip both in the spinach and kale dip as well as in ranch dressing. Some green onions for several recipes and salads for the week. Broccoli florets for a side as well as to have as snacks. Baby carrots to have as snacks throughout the week, again, to dip in the Greek yogurt dip or some ranch dressing. My fruits I picked up were blueberries, which I haven't had in a while, and they sounded really good. So I went ahead and grabbed those, and then I grabbed a big container of green grapes from Trader Joe's. And then the last thing I picked up from my workshop was another box of the chocolate marshmallow puffs. I love these. I'm obsessed with these. They are so 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 delicious and then some non-food items that i picked up was a bouquet of these adorable valentine's day two-tone pink flowers that i'm going to put in a vase on my center island i also picked up a box of neon flexible straws these are for when i make my coffees in the morning and i take them with me and then I picked up a pack of thank you cards because if you didn't know, I now have a P.O. box so I can accept and send happy mail. It is linked in the description box below. If you'd like to be my friend and communicate, go ahead and send me some happy mail and I will return the favor. So I went ahead and grabbed some thank you cards for that. I also picked up a six pack of paper towels and some toilet paper and then i grabbed some diet coke for my husband and i thought diet root beer sounded absolutely delicious so i picked up a 12 pack of that as well thank you for joining me on this week's ww grocery haul you can see that i got quite a lot for the week of course it'll last longer than a week but i had some great coupons some great deals and anytime i hit up trader joe's i always end up buying 10 times more than i went there for which is just fine so i am going to get all of my groceries put away if you're new to my channel welcome and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video give my video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below did i bring you any great new food finds and of course i'll see you all in my next video bye